So here I am in my hotel bathroom. Um, everybody keeps asking me in a video how I get my makeup ready before I go out. Um, tonight we're going to Diane Von Furstenberg's studio for an independent film fundraiser. And I am getting ready. I just got up on the train to New York City. I'm at the London Hotel. Um, and I still have my makeup on from today. So I'm really going to show you what I do. Um, first, MD Skincare. Um, easy for you, dry to normal wipes. I'm literally cleaning my face just with this, uh, just to get off the daily grime. Also, you get a little bit of a peeling effect from this because it has salicylic acid, just a tiny bit, which is coming from the willow herb bark. Um, but I do this, it's like doing a little two minute facial. You can see it all so bad. I'm putting eye, eye base right over my current eyeshadow. Um, so this is an old eye base. You can use Bobbi Brown um, or Trish McAvoy. I just used whatever was in my Trish planner, which is a mess and looks like everybody else's planner. So real life, mix of beauty brands, Bobbi, NARS. Um, still putting this eye base on, trying to get it nice and even. So this will hold on my eyeshadow. Um, next thing, I'm taking a Trish brush. This is brush number 21, my favorite brush um, of all time. I've used the same brush for years and years and years. Bobbi Brown B Bone Eyeshadow. Many of you know that I love this. Putting it all over my lid so I get a nice even base before I do anything. I might actually, I'm thinking I might add a little Nora's Edie, which is more shimmery for nighttime. Um, I'm going to take this palette that NARS gave me for their 15th anniversary. I love this. I used it the other night for a smoky eye. Um, this is Edie. It's just like Bobbi Brown Bone, but it has a little shimmer, so it'll provide a little bit more interest. So I like to get the base right, because um, otherwise your, the, your other eyeshadow doesn't go on well. Okay, so that's the base. Very straightforward. And the truth is, I don't have that study of a hand. Our makeup artists at Bloomberg are much stronger than I am. I just sort of do what I can. So I'm looking for the NARS Dome Brush um, to do my smoky eye. Um, this is brush number 14. Hopefully they still make it. Some of my stuff is really old. And then Laura Mercier gave me this palette with a bunch of shadows in it. It's Laura. That's one perk of being in the beauty business, you get a little bit of everything. And now I'm going to try to do my smoky eye. Actually, I'm going to take a break for a sec before I do it. I'm going to put a hydrating serum on my skin. So this is um, my favorite skin serum, Darfon Hydra Skin. It's very hydrating. You can put makeup on over it. Um, I've gone through bottles and bottles of this, so let me... So I'm just, I put a couple pumps on my hands and all over my face and you can see I get a nice white look. It dries down great. Okay, so brown eyeshadow very looks very risky. It's going to go all over my lids um, and I'm going to start to smoke out my eye and you can see it is extremely risky. Blending, blending. It might be a little too dramatic for tonight. So finger blending. I'm going to do one uh, and see if I can get it right. But you just use a really dark shadow and keep messing till it's blended. And this love the fluorescent light in the hotel. Um, that's part of the challenges. The other thing is when you're doing your makeup, you're in bright light, and then when you go out for the evening, um, you're usually in more dimmed light. Um, so I'm getting there. Um, then you have to look at the. Sh you really have to work on the shape. So I'm going up a little higher because the shape looks bad. Uh, I think I'm getting there. So I'm going to keep blending. I might use a little bit of sh one of Bobby's shimmers on top. I'm, I want to get a little bit brighter look. So this is a shimmer wash in copper sand. It has number number 22. Uh, see, it's giving it a little bit more glimmer. I feel like I needed that. Okay. I'm going to actually... Oh, look, honey. You're my judge, usually. Good? Okay. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the camera while I do the other eye and then I'm going to turn it back on when I line my eye because I feel like I have to do both eyes, get them even, and then line the eyes. So we'll turn it back on in a sec. So now I'm taking this palette out again. This is one of my favorite NARS eyeliners of all time. It's called Nightbreed. It's like black with little blue glimmery flecks. Blue Mercury's carried this color, I think, for over 10 years. It's a really old NARS color. And then um, I'm using the Laura, I think it's called the Fine Eyeliner Brush. You can see it's sort of so worn out from overuse that the name isn't on it anymore. So all I do is I wet this brush, dip it into eyeshadow. And this is how I really play. I use any dark eyeshadow that I can find to line my eyes. I'm going to be careful not to drop that. And now I'm going to do a line. This is the trickiest. You know. I like this brush because it's really easy to work with. You just sort of get in as close as you can from your at the edge of your eyelashes. And notice I never even removed my eye makeup I had on. I just went over everything. Not ideal, but if you're trying to go from day straight to night, really a lot easier. So you can see the difference between the two eyes. I'm going to do the other one. And then I clean up everything with a Q-tip. Q-tips are totally your friend. Okay, I'm taking a break. I'm putting Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer in next. Um, this keeps my foundation looking um, nice and moist because I'm pretty dry. Um, she makes primers in oil, um, for oily skin too, um, which people really like, but I am not oily. So I love this because Laura products, you just sort of mash up all over your face. You don't worry too much about them being even. And so what I'm going to do now that I have this on is take a Q-tip and start to touch up my eyes and fiddle a little bit. A lot of the smoky eye is about fiddling because you totally always mess it up. But I do. So you see, you clean up before you do foundation. And I actually have to uh, a little bit. I have a fair bit of cleanup to do. Uh, and I usually go over the line a little bit to smudge it. Good. And then I think I need to fix over here a little bit. Okay. A little time elapsed, but I did it all myself. We had to do a time elapse because we're running late and my husband couldn't video anymore. He had to get dressed. But this is my look for tonight, a little bit different than my everyday look, smoky eye. Um, I use NARS Penny Lane with um, their Laguna on my cheeks. Uh, and I have no idea what lip it is. Um, but we're going to uh, the party. Thanks.